Today we're going to talk about modded lobbies and what I think about them. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to talk about modded lobbies and what I think about them. And if you guys want to see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan made lore, news updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Even though I am semi against modding, the background footage that you are watching is indeed in a modded lobby. But before we start talking about modded lobbies, I wanted to let everybody know that there is a patch that was released yesterday in Outriders and you can actually download it right now. It is the damage mitigation patch that many people got mad didn't come last week, but in all fairness, the devs did say that the patch may, keyword being may, come last Thursday. This is important because when it comes to modding a game, no matter what game it is, when a patch is released, a new way to mod a game has to be made due to different coding. So it's kind of like when you jailbreak your phone or any type of electronic. However, that is not the case with this patch for Outriders though. I will put a link to the patch notes in the description box below if you guys want to check those out. Just so everyone knows, the devs consider modding as cheating and they do have repercussions that I will go over in a few. Let's go over the pros and cons of modding games and I will use Outriders as an example. Let's go ahead and start with the pros of modding for the game first. Well, for starters, you have an unlimited amount of options to do things in the game. For example, you can one shot enemies, which is kind of like revenge against the brood mothers that was doing it to us. You can take zero damage, get infinite ammo. You can have unlimited cooldown so you can use your abilities all the time. You can make your own shield around your body so that you take no bullet damage. You can have legendaries flow out of drop pods like it's Christmas. You can give yourself the armor that you actually want, change the attributes on that armor for the perfect build. Increase or decrease attributes, give yourself an extra attribute. You can give yourself more shards after dismantling gear, like thousands more shards. You can fill out all three class trees and so much more. If it can be thought of or is a mechanic in the game, it can be done. Now, there are cons of modding your game. First off, if you are a beginning modder, there is a chance that you could mess something up and corrupt the game files instead of doing your mod. Then you would have to go through the process of downloading the game all over again. So it would be the correct game files. You could accidentally mod the wrong item. In some games, your account can get banned for modding the game files. Not in Outriders though. Instead, the devs give you a watermark so that people know your account has been flagged as a cheater and matchmaking takes a little bit longer with randoms. But that's it. If you only play with your friends, then you really don't need to worry about matchmaking anyways. So it's not like that's a punishment. The devs for Outriders don't ban you or anything else. And when you think about it, it's not that bad compared to other games when you do things like cheat. Yes, once again, modding is cheating no matter how you put it. You're changing the game files in order to get a benefit that the game doesn't automatically provide. So yes, modding is a good and bad thing. Given that the game has been almost unplayable for most or there's been so many issues in the past with all of the game crashes, getting one shot killed by enemies, character inventory wipes, not being able to join people or other connection issues. Shout out to all my PC players with you or your party login issues. I'm looking at you Xbox players, not getting any legendaries for several runs in CT 15. That's myself, etc. This game has had so much issues since the second week of its release. And at this point, I kind of feel like who cares if you mod your game? As long as you are still having fun and you aren't affecting other players in a negative way, why not? Truthfully, it really does come down to the individual whether you want to play in a modded lobby or not. 
However, when you do play in a modded lobby, play with your friends and let them know that the lobby is modded before they join you and don't change anything in the inventory without their permission. That would just be a dick thing to do. Other than that, have fun and enjoy a broken game. Yes, Outriders is a broken game, even with the latest patch, because I still get crashes with PC when I'm only playing five minutes in. While I don't mind a modded lobby, on the other hand, other people may have an issue with it. So please ask them ahead of time to each his own. Play how you want. And at this point, we at least need to do that. So what do you guys think about modded lobbies? Do you like them or do you think there isn't a place for them in Outriders? I want to know all of you guys' thoughts on the matter and let's have a conversation in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you need a place to play Outriders, come join the Everything Outriders Discord. Every platform is welcome. You can make new friends. We do free carries for every expedition and Eye of the Storm. Get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and we recently allow modded lobbies, but with restrictions. We have over 300 members and it's growing every single day. So come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.